Hi, good morning Stanley. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 8th of October 2023. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Could you tell me your full name, for the record please? My full name is Stanley Wilford. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 2468935 Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. All right. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. So let's start with warm-up questions. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. Describe a time when you had to think critically to solve a patient problem. Once, I was caring for a patient who was experiencing severe chest pain and shortness of breath. I quickly assessed the patient's vital signs and symptoms, and I suspected that they were having a heart attack. I immediately activated the Code Blue team and began providing life-saving care. I worked closely with the other healthcare professionals to stabilize the patient's condition and transport them to the cath lab. The patient underwent a successful angioplasty and stenting procedure, and they were discharged from the hospital a few days later. What is your experience with using evidence-based practice in your nursing care? I am a strong believer in using evidence-based practice in my nursing care. I stay up to date on the latest research and clinical guidelines, and I use this information to make informed decisions about the care I provide to my patients. For example, I recently implemented a new evidence-based pain management protocol that has resulted in a significant decrease in patient pain scores. How do you prioritize your workload when you are caring for multiple patients? I prioritize my workload by assessing the needs of each patient and determining which tasks are most urgent. I also delegate tasks to other members of the healthcare team as appropriate. For example, if I have a patient who is critically ill, I will focus on providing them with the care they need and I will delegate other tasks such as taking vital signs and administering medications to my colleagues. How do you deal with stress in a fast-paced healthcare environment? I deal with stress in a fast-paced healthcare environment by taking breaks throughout the day, practicing relaxation techniques, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. I also make sure to communicate with my colleagues and supervisors if I am feeling overwhelmed. What are your career goals as a nurse? My career goals as a nurse are to become a nurse practitioner and to eventually open my own practice. I am passionate about providing high-quality care to my patients and I want to continue to learn and grow in my nursing career. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to the role plays now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the first role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about, and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you, Mahira. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your oat speaking role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good afternoon, Mihir. I'm Stanley Wilford, your attending nurse. Thank you for coming in today. Could you please confirm the reason for your visit? Well, nurse, the doctor has scheduled this appointment to discuss self administering insulin injections for my type 2 diabetes. Thank you for your confirmation. We understand that adjusting to insulin injections can bring about various emotions and concerns. Mihira, it's important to us that you feel comfortable and informed about this change in your treatment. May I know how you feel about starting insulin injections? Well, I have to admit, I'm a bit anxious about it. I've managed my diabetes with diet and pills for a while, and the thought of injecting myself makes me a little nervous. I completely understand your concerns, Mihira. It's perfectly normal to feel this way when starting something new. Let's talk about what's been on your mind. What aspects of the injecting process are worrying you the most? It's mainly the needles and the fear of pain. I've heard some people say that injections hurt a lot. I see. It's entirely reasonable to feel apprehensive about needles. I want you to know that you're not alone in this and I'm here to help you through this process. Firstly, I'd like to reassure you that, with clear instructions and some practice, most people find self-injections manageable. The needles we use for insulin are very fine, which can make the experience less painful than you might think. I feel calm hearing that. That's wonderful to hear. Additionally, insulin injections are crucial for managing your diabetes effectively. Starting insulin injections is a positive step forward in your diabetes management journey. It's a decision we've made to ensure that you have the best possible control over your diabetes. Unlike oral medications, insulin goes straight into your bloodstream, which means it can work faster and more efficiently to control your blood sugar levels. I acknowledge your words. But why can't I continue oral medication and diet management for the same? Mihira, you have been doing your best, and that's commendable. However, I understand that recently, you've been facing challenges, and your blood sugar levels have remained consistently high, despite your efforts. Sometimes, as diabetes progresses, oral medications and dietary control may not provide the level of control needed to keep your blood sugar within a healthy range. This isn't uncommon, and it's something many people with diabetes face at some point. It's a powerful tool that can help you achieve the level of control you need to lead a healthier life. All right. I am still afraid how I will be managing this. Don't be overwhelmed me here. Now, let me explain the process of giving yourself insulin injections. You'll want to start by washing your hands thoroughly and drain them. When it's time to inject, pinch a small fold of skin and then Insert the needle at a 45 to 90 degree angle. After injecting the insulin, leave the needle in place for about 5 to 10 seconds before removing it. Remember, we can rotate the injection site to avoid any lumps forming and to ensure that insulin is absorbed consistently. That's it. Isn't it easy to administer me here? It sounds easy. Let me try it for a few days. Well, nurse. Is there anything else I need to take care of? Yes, there are. Mihira, another important aspect to keep in mind is safe needle disposal. We'll go over that in detail and provide you with suitable containers to dispose of your used needles safely. Moreover, make sure to store unopened insulin in the refrigerator and avoid exposing it to sunlight or high temperatures. Always check the expiration dates to ensure your insulin remains effective. I hope the instructions are clear to you. Yes, I understand the instructions. I will take care of it. Lastly, Mihira, would you be comfortable with us observing you while you self-administer the injection today? It can be helpful to get real-time guidance and reassurance as you start this new routine. Yes, I think having someone there to guide me 
through the first time would be reassuring. That's great to hear, Mihira. We're here to support you, every step of the way. Remember, it's okay to have questions or concerns, as you start this process, and we're here to address them. You've got this, and I'm confident that, you will adapt to self-administering insulin injections, in no time. If you ever need assistance, or have any doubts, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Your health is our top priority. Sure, I will. Thank you. That is the end of your OIT speaking roleplay. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.